OK, Alan, so tell me a bit about this new machine. Tell me what it does and perhaps what the um, driving uh, force was behind its development and the issues that it, it will address as far as end users are concerned. Well, as you know, Mike, we've got a easy control which has been extremely successful. This is a touchscreen machine which the market, we were unsure whether the market would like it or not. We've sold hundreds of these controls on different machines and they've proved very reliable and very, very successful. So what we've done with this machine is allow the software to be very easy to program without taking any of the restrictions away from an experienced user. So how, I mean, how inexperienced would, a, would an operator, could an operator be in terms of coming to terms with this machine? The customers bought the new machine, they've got, there's their, there's their workforce, can they put a new guy on there? Can they? Uh... We, we see this as um, a lot easier than the standard CNC's, yeah. but not as easy as our easy range. Okay. Um, obviously, it's got to have a little bit more flexibility for very advanced components, including non-land driving. Okay. So tell me about the industries, the industry sectors that you'll be promoting this into. Uh, initially, uh, we're looking at the automotive and the aerospace. Uh, medium to high manufacturer. Yeah. Do you think the easy control is helping to kind of uh, stem what may have been a tide that was playing against the grinding process generally? It has been said to me that people find it difficult to sustain a grinding section within a company because they have not the operator, it's difficult to do other ways of making things. Absolutely. We've found with uh, these four or five button presses, a manual. An operator with a hydromechanical machine, we use an easy with four or five button pressing just to get the axes reciprocating rather than using a spanner to alter the dots. Then we just use a hand wheel as normal to take the material off the cart to accept the zero data. It's very, very easy. Uh, this is the status page, Mike, that yes. we'll usually look at, an operator will normally look at. Okay, yeah. On it, we have the essential items, the position of the machine and the distance to go, along with all of the uh, offsets, flight gauge offset, probe offset, part counts, and other things that the operator might want to look at. All we need to know, sir. All we need to know, yeah. Uh, optional block delete, optional block stop, and regrind. Along the top we've got an alarm button, which is below red, which is a, a red alarm, with different colours depending on the status of the machine. Uh, we have uh, a dynamic display of the cycle that's currently running. Okay, yes. So this is a, a plunge grind cycle. Yeah. We can see the x-axis, the wheelhead coming in, grinding the part to a diameter of 50 millimetres. Okay, that's the green bar that we can see there. This is the green bar, so yeah. you know exactly in the cycle where you are. Yes. Second page, we can see all of the machine axis positions, the work, the coordinate system positions, and also we can set user positions as well. So if we like to set a, a Z position, we can do. The programming side of the system can be done graphically with the part program represented as icons at the top. Each individual page for a G810 plunge line, for example, is indicated down the left hand side. So it can indicate what dressing do we want in the plunge line, do we want gap elimination in the plunge line, x axis positions, and z axis positions. Uh, there are also options on here for oscillating during the plunge oscillating during the whole plunge cycle or not oscillating at all. What are the advantages one way or the other of uh, oscillating or not oscillating? It's the increased surface finish and also the increased uh, stop removal. Uh, any alterations are instantly reflected in the actual master program in this context sensitive uh, text editor. So you can see the cycles are written in blue and all the parameters green and the values for each parameter are in black. 
So is this the operator during the setup? Uh, developed uh, a new remote hand, hand wheel, mm -hmm. which also has 20 soft keys on it and a two line LCD display. Yeah. As the operator is led through the setup procedure, questions will appear on the screen. From that, the operator can use this to digitise positions whilst he's looking at the wheel on the path rather than having rather to go back, back to the screen. screen. Yes. Yes. Okay. You can use the screen, you can use the hand wheel. It's up to the, uh, yeah. to the user.